I'm Irina Webster, your host for Inspiring Closer TV. And today I am going to interview Caroline Cooper. Welcome, Caroline. Thank you, Irina. Caroline uh, is an author, and she has written a book, and um, which recently been published, Links in the Chain. So, Caroline, can you please me can, can you please tell me about your book and uh, what it's all about? It's about Port Arthur, and it's about old Tasmania, mm -hmm. and people making their way in a new fledgling society in Tassie. So um, yes, mm -hmm. I was inspired by the um, a visit to Port Arthur and uh, how people can shake off the past and make a new future. But it looks to me like a story about two people. Yes. Uh, that really nice, it's actually a very nice colour. Yes, it's a, I love the colour. And it's uh, there are two little love stories going in it. Two? So it's a very about two couples? Yes. So it's a very gentle, genteel story. Um, with crinolines and um, mm -hmm. you know, shades of the past, uh -huh. um, and there's some lovely characters in it. So, uh, okay. Yeah. So actually, the couples they were prisoners. Uh, one is yes, uh -huh. yes. I don't want to give away too much of the story, um, but one is certainly brought to Port Arthur in in chains, uh -huh. and uh, it's his and fall in love. Yes, but it's the... it's his drive to capture his his life back after, after being in chains at Port Arthur mm -hmm. and it's but it's also about the parallel world that exists at Port Arthur with the aristocracy mm -hmm. and the commandant and the postmaster and the teacher and the, and the people who live there who are living a totally parallel world mm -hmm. to the prisoners okay very interesting contrast yeah so I assume the other couple would be from uh, the different world it's possible from, yeah? <laughs> yes from aristocratic yes, world yes 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 so it yes. would be completely different. Yes, and then of course when you go to Port, when you go to Ho old Hobart Town, things uh -huh. slightly change. So um, it's almost like two books in one. Uh huh. Mm. So it's really interesting. So you went to Port Arthur. Port I Arthur. did. Did you um, go went there? To, oh, it was some long time ago, and I went to the um, silent prison, which is just awful. Bad uh -huh. enough in daylight, but at night it's really, really ghastly, and these poor people were shut there for you know, 20 odd hours a day in total, total, utter silence. Yeah. And most of them went mad. Yeah. So one of your protagonists uh, was in the, in the silent prison. In, in the silent prison. Okay. So how did he meet the woman? Oh, it's a secret. story to oh, find wow. out. Oh, wow. yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, mm. definitely just to read. And there's also the commandant's daughter who's uh, hopelessly in love with the um, settlement's doctor. So that plays out a little bit and weaves itself into the story. Mm -hmm. And she walks her dog every day in the settlement, hoping to meet the doctor. Mm -hmm. She's got this gorgeous, wriggling King Charles Spaniel called okay. Oliver. Yeah, so I hope the end of their love stories is good. So It'll they... bring a tear to your eye. Bring... It'll ah. bring a tear to your eye. Okay. Yes. So, but they're really good and positive. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, because I really love uh, to read the love stories. Yes. But I want them to be... But it's not maybe not what you think. Maybe there's a little bit of a twist. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not the Yeah, mm. yeah, it is uh, fantastic. Mm. So, is this your first book? Um, this is actually my second book. Wow, and what was the, it? My first one was called The Forgotten Holocaust. Um, mm -hmm. It was about the Romani and their um, terrible time they had at Auschwitz. And I believe it's a world first novel mm -hmm. on this particular topic. I've, I read a lot of non fiction, but this is the first fiction book. The forgotten uh -huh. Holocaust. Forgotten Holocaust. Uh -huh. Holocaust because the Romani was. Uh, they were taken to Auschwitz and annihilated. Uh -huh. Totally, totally annihilated. Annihilated. Um, yeah. So, so again, that that story pans out. It comes to Australia. So there's um, there's a bit of a kind of a good news story there uh -huh. for that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So but you're basically a history. It seems no, to be. It seems, seems to be pan out that right way. Yes. Yeah, so your yes. both books is about the both historical yes. time. Yes, time and, and I discovered that both books are about prisons and people making their way back into their lives, finding themselves again. You're attracted to. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. You heard some sisters. No. No. No, never. No, no. Never. No. No. Where do you come from? You're, you're not oh, Australian, isn't it? Well, I'm technically Australian, but I'm originally English. English. Yeah, so how long have you been living in Australia? Oh gosh, a long time. Long time, yes. Oh, that's very interesting, Caroline, certainly. So where people can buy your book, this book and the Forgotten Holocaust as um, well? 
on the, on the website inspiringbookshop.com. Yeah, inspiringbookshop.com. Yeah, you can buy Caroline's book, both Link in the Chain and Forgotten Holocaust. Yes, thank you very much, Caroline. Thank you, Irina. Lovely to talk to you. Lovely to talk to you.